Once scientists come up with an important question, they study the work that others have done before them. Then they come up with a hypothesis, which is simply a possible answer to the question that's expressed in the form of a statement that can be tested and found to be either true or false. One of the things we really wanted to test was whether or not the ice sheet retreat was still ongoing or whether it had ended. Based on, on some previous work we'd done, we suggested the possibility that the ice sheet retreat might still be happening. What we wanted to do, particularly at Reedy Glacier, was to test whether or not that retreat is over or if it's still ongoing. So there were two, two possibilities. It stopped or it hasn't. So that is the researcher's hypothesis. The retreat of the West Antarctic ice sheet is still going on. And whether that hypothesis is correct or not really matters. And it's also important to note that a total collapse of the ice sheet isn't needed before we start to really feel the effects. Only even a small meltdown of the West Arctic ice sheet would start to ra raise global sea levels. And 20 feet is a huge amount when you think about it, it's what the implications of that are for our coastal cities and um, various island communities. It's, it's a huge amount, but even a few centimeters or, or a few um, tens of centimeters is enough to really be noticed. And so only a very small part of the ice sheet has to, has to disappear for that much to, to take place.